All right, so it's time for another video. We'll see what we got from the thrift store today. Um, went to the thrift store again today, picked up some some odds and ends, actually some pretty weird stuff that we haven't gotten before on video. We've gotten it before, but not on video. Right now we're in um, a computer room, and I'm in the process of putting together um, sort of a health health program for mild fitness very mild fitness a couple of workout tapes some karate stuff things like that and we have uh, a scale to add to the addition so along with these gold gym push-up uh, handles which were eight bucks I think which is kinda overpriced uh, along with those two for eight we got this scale for 30 bucks and we checked to see if it was calibrated and it's not bent up and two three people three people got on it and it was put against two different scales so we have two foot style scales one digital and one analog and this uh, nobody bought this it was sitting there for the longest time and we just picked it up for 30 bucks and uh, I think the price was higher than that before but we got them to 30 and they said, yeah, we'll take it. Um, and I think because nobody in there knew how to work an analog scale. Isn't that crazy? Like, nobody could sit there and work an analog scale. You know, I might actually take this time to annoy some people and show them how to use an analog scale on video. What do you think? We were good. Yeah, let's do it. Be patient. Let's do it. Your videos will come up. <laughs> you mean? DVDs. Yeah. Let's see. All right, first you stand on it. On the carpet is not the best place to put this. Obviously, we're going to put this um, in the bathroom. But, uh, yeah, these are like 200 bucks. But, anyway, an analog scale is simple. You step on a platform, and it wants you to pick out your weight. So the first thing you're going to do is figure out how much you think you weigh. So you, if you think you weigh over 150 pounds, then you would set it to 150 right here the big block and in my case I'm going to set it to 200 pounds because I think I weigh over 200 pounds so now you see the scales all the way up right here this thing is going to teeter in the middle like this when you're getting close to your number so what you want to do is set it to 200 and then you want to dial in this other indicator here this other weight to what you think is going to start moving this and make it teeter. Hmm. Primitive. Yeah, very primitive. Accurate. Very primitive. So we are going up towards 24, 25, 28. Okay, so now you see it's starting to teeter down. So we're almost to 30, but we're going to back off a little bit and get it to teeter in the middle. You can do this pretty quickly and estimate, but you can get a precise measurement almost to what you weigh. All right, I'm going to choose 25 because we're right in the middle here. We're bouncing up and down, kind of in the middle, and I'm sitting on carpet. This, the scale is on carpet. It's not supposed to be. It's supposed to be on a flat, hard surface, and it's throwing it off just a little bit because it's definitely higher than what I remember checking it at. So, um, 25 pounds up here. See? 25 right in the middle. And then right here, 200. So you add 25 to 200. So that's 225. So you see, I weigh 225, and that's what it says. Easy. So it's real easy to do. And then, um, if you got a, a child on here, you just set it over to zero. Right? Yeah. Now, you're... you're you got, it, you got yeah, from zero to fifty pounds. It's very easy, people, and so nobody in the thrift store knew, and they were my age. How how do you not know how to work an analog scale? All right, I'm, that's enough preaching about that. Let's see what we got today, besides the scale. So we got this movie about emotions for kids, this Pixar movie, and well, um, I remember seeing it once and thinking, yeah, it's pretty good but it could lead to something dangerous in the future like if they make sequels and stuff and I don't know what this I know they made sequels and I don't know what that's like but the first one's okay because it teaches I think people how to 
you know, kids how to prioritize emotions. So you don't have one emotion speaking for another, you know, sadness for anger and all that. So you don't become passive aggressive and all those other psychobabble words and terms. But anyway, diving into emotions and doing that for kids could get a little dangerous, uh, I think, in the long run. So at least for Hollywood to do it or Pixar. I mean, look what Disney's doing now. So you go figure there, right? Anti-family almost. So, um, yeah, so we got this with caution. Um, all right. Put it there. Yeah, you can weigh all your DVDs. Yeah, right. Cool, DVD weight scale. Oh, we got a lot of games, people. Um, uh, games again. I think we got one Blu-ray today, so if you're here for the Blu-rays, you can leave after this because we only got one Blu-ray. And it's a, the newer, ugly-looking Ninja Turtles. Not which, even new anymore. Well, 2014. There's not what I remember seeing growing up. The cartoon version and, you know, in the 1980s, Go Ninja, Go Vanilla Ice Ninja Turtles versus these... Uh, old dark and gloomy turtles. It seems like everybody today is going to some dark and gloomy crap. Even people are so serious there's no more joking in anything anymore. They're all serious and matter of fact and then ready to fact check you. So yeah, um, we used to have, well, we have this in the collection now, but at one point in time the world wasn't this serious. Okay? People weren't anyway. Uh, they were serious, but they didn't have to be dull and serious at the same time. Scary. What is this? A child's game? Oh. It's a Wii game. Monsters vs. It's torn up in the case. It's got the booklet. That's good. Yeah, I don't... I know they made a movie out of this, I think. Or oh, this was a movie for kids. They did that a lot But I guess it's a game now, right? Yeah. Let's see. What is this? Don't know what it is, but it's got it's not a manual, just some kind of yeah. Slip. I don't, yeah, I don't know what that is. But Caution it's, slip. It's there. The rubber band. Oh man, we got this. We fit. Hey, again. Man, you got a scale. This is like the 400th version of We Fit, man. You people can't give these away. Uh, I guess that kind of speaks for itself. The message. Might need the case, right? right. Well, oh, America needing We Fit. Yeah. Well, that. I got the scale, honestly, because there's some weight improvements I'd like to make, and I know I'm health conscious in my household. I'm hoping should remain health conscious as well. And that's a good thing, because it could help you live a longer life if you have a zest for life, you know. And if not, you could develop one. Um, when you see people today walking around and their sweats and stuff and flip flops in places they should kind of take better care of themselves it kind of reminds you man hey you know what what's going on here we're not in in our lounge in walmart or in some other place we should take more pride in ourselves like it did during my generation's upbringing we did you know we dressed nice we wear polo wore polo shirts and you know not only a couple years ago we did you know people did but not anymore it seems like they like Slither on out the house with any old rags on and, you know, not weight conscious or health conscious, you know, so, or even haircut conscious anymore. Yeah. Because they got some Hair crazy looking man. hairdos. No, I mean crazy, like one side bald, the other one regular, one side blue, the other side green. And, you know, if that's your thing, that's fine. But there is a time and place for that play. And then there's a time to be serious. But they're kind of all blurring together now, you know. And then everybody wants to make this statement. To who? My question is, who's listening for all these people that make statements, right? I used to make statements, but nobody really listens. And that's the problem with the world. There's too many people wanting other people to listen instead of, you know, getting into yourself, and I guess, you know. What was that, outdoor challenge? Oh, An yeah, I'm another sorry. exercise. I, I just straight looked over it. Yeah, I guess. I don't know. Canoeing and stuff. That looks like fun, though, for kids. I guess to get active, right? There's that little pad that you need with it? Yeah, I don't have the pad, but I could get one. But it kind of looks like it's another. What is that, that game that everybody has? It's common on a Wii. Wii Sports? Yeah, Resort. Sports Resort. But a knockoff, you know? What? That one's a little bit different, I think. 
Yeah, and I'm like, I just thought I just introduced that. Okay, so this is two different ones. Don't know Looks what this is. Looks the same. Is. Yeah. Some instructions. All right. What karaoke. in the world is this? Karaoke. <laughs> 2023. Huh. Number 11. Don't know what all that means. <clears throat> Eight week games. Somebody's print label on the pack. Got a manual? Yeah. Okay. Alright, well, it can't take a lot of time on this because we got a bunch of other stuff here. Yeah. Alright. Another one of those Landers things, Skylander things, whatever. Oh, karaoke. And another one of these, huh? This looks like a knockoff of Mario Kart. It does. <laughs> right? Except, you, yeah, you have to beat people up focused a little bit more on beating the cars up next to you, right? Yeah. Hmm. And Xbox 360 game. Alright, good. Okay. Xbox 360 game. Batman Xbox 360. Whoa. Same thing, but for the Xbox 360. Okay. Two Xbox 3 Iron Man. Let's see. Disney. What is this? Infinity. Yeah, I know, but what? Doesn't doesn't have any. Doesn't have any elementary pictures on it. No, it doesn't. On the front, it's right? Weird. Hmm. Dead Island. I remember when this first came oh, out for yeah. PS3. It was I so guess it came out, but this is the same time. Such great graphics. Uh, no, it was uh, weird. Yeah, it was weird. Chrome graphics. something. Chrome Engine 5 or whatever. Yeah, that's right there. It was weird graphics in those. Some people liked it. I just thought that it was silly. Well, they made it too now. Really? A PS4 game? What is this? Uh, PlayStation VR demo disc. Oh, okay. Open it up. Is it actually in there? Or? I don't know. If not, I'll take the case for a Blu-ray. What no, a different the game. world is that? Creed, Rise of Glory, PS4. Okay. It's a boxing game. Oh, I'll play that. I like boxing. Is that where you mess up your analog sticks? So absolutely, yep. You will mess go through controllers <laughs> like crazy with like fight night round whatever. Round three. Yeah. Hey, speaking of which, look. Oh, <laughs> yeah, but this is for Xbox. I, I didn't. Nah. You never really had an Xbox until today. <gasps> Pan over. Got an Xbox. All right. Jesus. Yeah. So round three, and then whatever this is. I think that's a major title. Gears of War. I think it was only for that. If I'm correct. Okay, well it's there now. Oh my God. It goes in a permanent that. collection, right? So we need a damn warehouse, man. And we got to repaint this room. Get it ready. And ought to turn this room into the. I might change collection this room. carpet. No, uh, -uh. We need a, we need a separate wing for that. But we have to get through. Um, now take note of this crazy what? storm year first. True. I think one of those DVDs has somebody's name on it. Oh, really? Should I knock their name off? No, I think it's a easy okay. spot for purposes of the camera. You mean for... For privacy concerns. Some people's privacy concern. Whoever they are, yeah. Uh, outsiders, right? I think we have this, but this one is sealed. That's right. We usually get one that's sealed. We usually buy the ones that are sealed. Tom Hanks and... 1984. Bachelor Party. Yeah, I didn't remember seeing this on his um, greatest hits selection, you know. <laughs> yeah. All right. Bucket list. Uh, wrapped. Okay, right. At least partially. Yeah, I see the name on there. I'll cover it up. There you go. Is that the only one with a name yeah. under my thumb? That okay. was the one I remember. Did yeah, okay. So we have the old one, but we don't have this one. With uh, Jim Carrey, Jumanji, and RV. We have Jumanji. RV we don't have. Now we do. Yeah. We'll wipe it down and check it. It's scratchy on the back. Mm. 
Yeah, we might have to question this one. It's a maybe. Yeah, we'll see. Every we'll, RV we ever found was we're gonna scratched. Yeah, it's scratched. Maybe people were mad at it. Mm. The disappointment or something. I thought it was an okay movie. They did treat him like crap, though. The dad. Yeah. You yeah. know, that's all the modern movies in the last 25 years tore down all the father figure roles. You know, made right. the dad the klutz, the idiot, the dummy. You know, all that's a, so they can, you know, hold together the nuclear family. But only, you know, guys or, or women or men or people can spot that, that know that once upon a time they knew that that was, you know. Normal. No. To revolve around the... Yeah, the family structure, and it was actually the backbone of this country, and now it's going to be, you know, missing, so. Anyway, uh, yeah, mm -hmm. I'm sure activists hate me talking right now. That's fine. You can click off the video. Yeah. Big stand. I remember that. I don't. Rob Schneider goes to prison. Really? I don't remember this. But I'll watch it. It's, like it'll it's be funny. not politically correct. It's not? Cool. It's not. I love non-politically correct movies. I like non-politically correct things, like that scale. <laughs> that scale is no longer politically correct. Right. I like that. Yeah, because you know what it tells you. Might tell it you tells you need to get your ass moving. Exactly. And, you know, you probably need to do some improvements there. And, you know, it tells you this you ain't no free ride. Get your lazy ass mm -hmm. up and... You know, mix all that stuff in there. Excuse the language, people. <laughs> I've tried to keep it, you know, somewhat on a PG level. That's the That's not a bad video. At close range. Yeah, I like these older movies. I gotta go get, uh... Bad Boys? Bad Boys. Is nah, it bad, bad Boy? Or Bad Boys? Nah, can't be Bad Boys, right? That's a movie. That is... Now, we're not talking about Martin Lawrence. We're talking about... Yeah, we're talking about his juvenile right. movie, right? Right. They put that on streaming services now, though. But before, we had that movie, and not on streaming services, you know. I don't I need to get it. Oh, look. Saturday Night Fever. Is that what that is? Yeah. Why is this rated R? I don't, don't I know. don't remember. Rated R. Why it was rated Saturday R. Saturday Night yeah. Fever, 1977. It might have naked scenes or something, and that might be why. There is? I don't know. I didn't really sit down and watch this movie through... I had the soundtrack, I, you know, um, many people got into this because of Pulp Fiction, the movie. Oh, yeah, yeah. And they, you know, stumbled onto the soundtrack of this and it's kind of went hand in hand, you know, kind of a retro backward, you know. Retro back in the 90s? <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, they, back in the 90s, they went back retro in the 70s. Hmm. And I had the vehicle for it and everybody wanted to ride with me. You know, when you got like a 79 old Delta 88 in mint condition. Everybody wants to ride in that velour interior and all that, you know, and listen to 70s music on 215s that's coordinated properly. Doesn't sound like a trash can, you know. But. Whole 10 yards? Uh, oh, yeah. We have the whole 9 yards, now we have 10 yards. You gotta be careful, that's an old Warner Brothers DVD. Yeah, we gotta check it and see if it delaminated itself. And it's delamination you can't see. Nope. We gotta run it through. The best way to check this to see if it's been screwed up is to put it in your player and don't watch the whole movie. Just skip to the end credits. Just go to go to uh Oh yeah, because once it delaminates like in the middle, it, everything after is gone. Right, it won't read. So if it if it chances are if it reads from beginning to end, if there's no scratches of course, this is only covers delamination or uh some whatever they call where there's a problem in in the disc and you can't see it, where it rots or breaks down or decomposes, uh, decomposition or whatever, um, or oxidation, then you just fast forward, like I said, to the end, and um, you can do that just by going on to the uh, main menu and select it. Yeah. Sealed. That's why I was like, why? Why am I Inside seeing this app. over and over again? But, yeah, it's sealed and it's full screen. That's why we have it. That's why we picked it up. Weatherman. Yeah, because I uh, don't remember having this. And this was one of those simple movies that just needed to be added to the collection. Blockbuster. And it is a blockbuster case. It was a lot of blockbuster cases, I mm -hmm. think, this time. Let's see? Red Eye. I don't know what this is. 
but another blockbuster case. We got it. Ah, got this movie already. But this is the first one. And it's sealed. And that's why we got it. It's an old Warner Brothers DVD. Mm -hmm. Wrapped. And another sealed. Not a favorite movie or anything, but sealed. What is this? Oh, I was like, why, why are we? Why did we get this? It's sealed. Right, that's the only reason. Well, I don't know. You know, it might be a good movie. Hmm. We'll see. Chick flick. That <laughs> is a funny movie. Not the new one, this one. I've never seen it. And I got it on VHS, but something's wrong with the VHS tape. So now I have it on here, and I'll look for another VH replacement. VHS replacement. But I have the original overboard on VHS. It's that old, <laughs> and the tape is extremely old. So I can understand why you have an 80s tape kind of giving you trouble. Hmm. The Invention of Lion. Uh, nothing about this. Got Louis C.K. in it. Oh, yeah. Okay. That dude that got banned because yeah. he did something inappropriate. That's cool. Controversy, controversial things. I like them. He got taken out. Wow. Entertainment law. Yeah, I don't think he was appropriate in public or something. But I don't agree with the reason he was taken out, but I don't agree with... I guess that's his personal life, but... I don't know the whole story. That's a big power pack. Isn't it? Jeez. For that. Where's the controller for this thing? We left it on the other mantle? We did. Okay, so we have a controller for this thing, too. We'll stop and get it right now. All right, so we got the stuff to hook up to Xbox. I guess we should put the Xbox in there, right? So we got an Xbox 360. About made in around 2012. Yeah, that means after the... They corrected some of the problems, maybe? Yeah, I think they had some problems with yellow lights and stuff like that. I don't know if this this model or nothing or not, but we'll find out. This was $15. Bucks, right? $15. 15 That's all right. I got a PS3 for 20 And that and an one... Original. Original PS3 that plays PS2 games and PS1 games and everything else. It the, is a... The big fat console. It's a play anything. Right. Got that for... 20 bucks and two controllers three controllers with it don't update it yeah if you got one don't update it yeah and so we got this one with this controller and it's you know it's got a little shoe a few shoes right there been well played but it's uh it's tight otherwise and it's a genuine i'm not xbox. an xbox guy i'm not I'm, i've never really sat down and played an xbox um ps ps uh, playstation and nintendo we're probably what I'm familiar with the most. Um, and so it's nice to add this to the collection with about other six or seven game systems we have. Why would you put the USB ports in the back of the system? I don't know. But That's weird. Yeah. Yeah, manufacture date 9-21-2012. Alright, so they have batteries in here for the controller. Not like a Wii remote. Yeah, which is weird. But I guess if somebody has one of these, they're not... They don't think it's weird, but I do. It works. I guess. All right, so that's what we got here. So this thing with all accessories and and controller, fifteen bucks. All every game, of course, and and Blu-ray and game and everything, one dollar each. And the Gold's Gym thing, I probably paid a little too much as a thrift store item, but you know what? I'm not picky about that stuff. That goes with the sandstone tapes. This goes with all Wait, of the, what tapes? the sandstone tapes. Or sorry, sandstone DVDs. No, no, no. That's aerobics for ladies. They don't do push-ups. Oh. This is for... <laughs> you can do them if you want to aerobics. No, thank you. All right. This is for some of those um, uh, VHS and those elite... Robert Massey's. Yeah, and karate videos that we have. Those yeah. elite ones. And uh, calisthenics and working out. The boxing training videos. Right. That's what this is for. And the punching bag that we got. And all the other stuff that we don't really need to go into making a video about. And this scale, right up here, look, was 30 bucks. okay? So, it's a $200 retail scale, I think. And um, that's what we got. So, 
What's the moral of the story? Check your thrift store any chance that you get. Daily. Daily. They, didn't, you they didn't have those a few I days know ago. it's hard because you're working and stuff, I think. Uh, <laughs> just after you get off, stop by there. And usually we're doing it at the last 15 minutes of the day or 20 minutes of the day. But, you know, if you can get in, get in. And so that concludes this, this, uh, this video. Thank you all for watching.